Now that we have a trunk and some branches going on, we're going to look to create a material. If I just bring up my material editor here, you can see I kind of have one pre-made. Uh, we'll just make one from scratch here. And all we need to do is go in and add a multi-sub-object material. So I'm going to choose multi-sub. And I'll uh, keep my old material. Sure. And I'm going to set my number to uh, just how many propagations I'll have. So I'm going to have my trunk, I'm going to have some branches, and I'm going to have some leaves. So that's going to be three. And I'm just going to copy these down for each one. I'll assign this to my OX hair object. And probably a good idea to rename this at this point. And now the group IDs are really going to correlate to what we have here. So under group ID 1, this is going to be our trunk. And this is going to be our branch. And this is going to be our leaves. So we can just go in. I'm just going to give a basic color here. So maybe a brown, kind of a brownish gray. So maybe they got a little gray to them. And then for this, uh, these would be our branches. They tend to be a nice kind of yellowish feel to them. Maybe something like that, greenish yellow. And then the leaves will be a little bit more brightish green, I think. We don't have any leaves yet, but I'll set that anyway. Make that more of a yellow. All right. Now we can go and add in, now that we have our material, we can add in our leaves. Let's just go right in and right above our branch bend, we'll add another propagation modifier. I'm going to turn off showing results so we're only seeing uh, our generated leaves here. And we're going to set this to work on uh, propagate on one and give me a ID of two. Okay. And this is going to be for our leaves. I'm going to kind of do the same thing. Uh, this is going to take, you know, most of my settings from before. So I'm going to kind of reset these for the most part to zero and one. I'm going to get rid of that randomness again just so I kind of know what's going on. And I'm going to get rid of that fanning too for the moment. Now I'm kind of back to a base and I can adjust. I have that high and low range I can adjust, although we want this probably mostly on those branches. And it's a bit cluttered here, so I might just, just for the moment, set this down to uh, something pretty low, uh, like 10. And then probably start to bring down, um, just so we can kind of see where they are. I'll probably make them a little bit longer later but I want to kind of see what I have here. Now, one of the nice things about this propagation modifier is just like generating hair, you have different distribution methods. And here for the leaves, we're going to want something a lot more uniform. So I'm going to choose a uniform distribution method, and then I'll start to crank up the number that we have. Okay. So you can see that we'll go back up to 25. Here are our leaves, and this is kind of our uniform setup. Not looking that uniform right now, at least not for a palm tree because we actually want to do the reverse of what we did for the branches. Uh, if you remember, the branches were only coming out on either side, on two sides, and that wasn't what we wanted for branches. We wanted them to come out all the way around the trunk. But for leaves, especially palm leaves like these, we actually only want them to come out on two sides. So now I'll set those two sides, and you can see we have those two sides kind of like so. We can go into Twist Control and just add some global twist so that those can be nice and flat. Now, hopefully, you can see how we really start to get a little setup where we would have these nice palm leaves going. I'll probably adjust that length back out, like so. And as I'm adjusting the length, maybe go with 0.5. Oh, my. I'll kind of go with this 0.2. You can see that they are very long. But one thing I'm going to do is adjust this length graph. So maybe towards the root, um, they're not quite as large, or maybe they are. Okay, so I'm going to just maybe calm down there. And then certainly around the tip, they're going to get a little bit shorter so that we have this nice kind of setup there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good at the moment. We'll go into our fanning control. We can fan these up or back. And usually these are going to be fanned forward. So we're just going to kind of go like so. Maybe a negative 0.5 is probably going to work pretty well for us. And we also have this fanning graph, which gives us a lot of control. So I can say, you know what, don't fan it so much at the tips. 
or do fan it a lot at the tips and maybe not quite as much towards the root. Okay, so you can adjust that to your liking too. And you also have the ability, of course, to adjust some of that twist if you wanted these to twist slightly. We'll probably add a little bit of randomization back in now. So let me just go in. I'll add a little randomization to the length, although we want them to be pretty uniform, but just a little bit, never hurt anybody, just to make it a little more uh, organic and believable. And also to that twist. So you don't want to go crazy because that's going to get rid of that flat. But let's uh, just add a little bit in there, just a 0.1 to get a little bit of variation. Okay, so we'll rename this leaf crop. Okay, and let's add our render settings for it. So we know that this is going to be on ID 2. And sometimes I'll put the ID in the prop just to kind of give me an idea um, so I can remember, but sometimes I'll just rename it. Leaf render, and we can turn on show end result, and you can see that happen in there. So I probably, for a leaf, maybe something that looks a little bit more like that. Nice and flat. We got a little bell. Maybe that bell for these types of leaves kind of goes back here a little bit more. And we can make them a little wider. All right. I'm thinking maybe they'd even want to be a little bit longer, but I'm not quite sure. So there's my leaf render settings. We kind of have that set up. I might go back into my propagation and say, you know what? I do need that 50 now. So I really get a good amount of these leaves on here. And I'll probably want to add in some of that gravity as well, because that's a really easy thing to add in and give a little bit of realism. I'll bring this down below the render settings and call this leaf bend. And you can see you get that bend out of those leaves too. Uh, right now it's actually acting on the, uh, the branches. So I'll set this just to ID 2. And you can see that as we're applying that, we're applying it to our leaves. So there we go, like so. And maybe they don't droop quite as much here. And maybe a little bit more towards the ends. So we got some more curling there. Whatever it is, you can kind of set it up to your liking. Okay. Now we have a good setup with a nice trunk. We have some leaves kind of set up there. And we have the ability to go in and adjust any of these things after the fact. So if I want to go into render uh, here and I decide that, you know what, uh, on this tip, I like it to really kind of cap off. I can go in here and set this from step to linear. So it kind of um, tapers away and that works for me. I can go into my bend and I can decide that you know, I want this to be a little bit more, or a little bit less, or whatever I want to do. Everything's very procedural, and that's really great. I can go into an overall setup, as I said before. You can add all sorts of things. I just added in that leaf bend, but if this was a different type of tree, I might add in some frizz um, to give me a nice frizz setup on these. And I could do that, you know, actually animate that and get a little bit of waving going on here, which works very well. Or I could do a very small, uh, frizz that's really going to kind of twist that so this is on everything but I can do it per group so there's my, on my branches and there's just on the leaves you can add a lot of different options here in order to get a nice procedural setup now in the next step what we'll do is we're just going to save this out as a preset like you saw in the beginning and with that preset we're going to be able to apply this to whatever we want and that way we can use this tree over and over and we can build multiple different trees, shrubs, uh, plants, all sorts of different things that we can use.